welcome back to a Gator Sniper playthrough of Genshin Impact, where, uh, it's been that time now that, uh, fucking Inazuma is out. I've been playing a lot of that on my main account. I'm super excited. I, I've enjoyed what I've seen so far. It's got some new little fucking mechanics all around. Electro ground them are fun. Uh, all sorts of shit like that. And now I get to just enjoy being fucking behind again as I'm in Liyue. <laughs> and not only that... To get to Inazuma, I'm gonna have to do, like, extra quests past these fucking, like, main uh, quests I'm doing right here. Like, I know for one, I'm definitely gonna have to do the Dane's Leaf quest, but I'm pretty sure there's other quests I'll have to do, too, so... Yeah, just a whole lot of fun there. It'll be... it'll be great. Oh, but you know what? Maybe. Maybe if we're really lucky. If we're really lucky, we might be able to get, uh... Ooh. Well, Miss Forge. Or it's Miss Splitter. That's one. That might be... That might be something to try and summon for. I don't know. I've been trying to summon it on my main account, but then I found out Ball was a fucking spear user for some reason, and I was just like, I don't care anymore. So, I don't know. I guess I'll chart the course for Miss Splitter anyways and just not summon off of it. But... I could always try to get another fucking five-star hero that I don't have the resources to use. That's always fun. Here, let's also buy some uh, Primo gems. I'm... wait. Yeah, oh, I have leftover juice? Okay. Oh, nice. Hold on, let me just do this for right way. It's been a moment since I bought fucking uh, Fates. Oh, I can't even buy one of those. Well, maybe with, when, I, when I buy all these, I'll have enough uh, little extra points to purchase the leftovers from the Stardust Exchange. All right, Ayaka, come home to pop. Give me Ayaka. I got Ning. Oh, I don't have a Ningguang on the. Ooh, she could be fun to build. I always wanted a Ningguang. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Good, good, good. All right, we'll do three little baby summons. No, no, no. God damn it. Okay, maybe this time I have an addiction. I'll buy two of these. Maybe I'll get it or get her then. Ayaka, come home to poppy. No. No! No! Okay. Well, we tried, and that's all we can fucking hope for. <laughs> oh well. I mean, at that point, I'd have to just replace Kaya, that's for the thing. It's like, which I guess really isn't the worst, like, I'm not too attached to Kaya. I don't know, it's just that thing where it's like, when I talked about it in the first place, where I was like, oh yeah, the idea of like, playing with the, the fucking Monsat party was cool. Actually, as far as, because, I don't know, is that thing where it's like, oh, it's like an RPG, but actually, would be a fun little RPG mechanic, would actually be- I keep saying actually, it's really annoying, but to keep going on that train of thought, fun little RPG mechanic would be that, like, depending on each region, just play with a team that's based around there. So yeah, in Monsa, I'd be totally fine if I played with, uh, Amber, uh, Lisa, Kaya, uh, I feel like I'm missing some people, but you know, those ones. And then now that I'm in Liu- Liu Wei, that was very close. Now that I'm in Liu Wei, I could play with, like, well, honestly, my team's kind of Liu Wei, well, it's half Liu Wei. Like, Xingxu, Bido, uh, I guess technically Kazuha, but not really. Uh, I don't know, I've got- I've got the people. Ningguang now, yeah, Ninja, Xinyan, yeah, I've got people. And actually, I wonder, do I have- oh, man, yeah, I need to fucking go on off camera and fucking do shit again, but, you know, I'm just very lazy and probably won't do it. I don't know, it's just- it's difficult, I guess. Not really, but I'll say it's difficult. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is it really that spooky? I think it looks pretty nice. Paimon, you're just a pussy. I guess, actually, in all fairness, it is a creepy, spooky moment, because technically a zombie Welcome answers. To Boo Boo Pharmacy. I fucking love her voice, though. It's just so deadpan. She is one of my favorite voices in this game. D did you hear that? What it was a ghost, that? Paimon, ready to eat your brain out through your ears. It seems. Oh, yeah, Zhongli's here. <laughs> Weird that I did not notice them. Hmm. Uh-huh. Paimon, when do you ever take point? You don't do anything. I'm honestly afraid of the day that they'll make her do something, because, you know, she's probably the god of whatever the fuck she is a god of at the beginning of this game. I don't know. It's gonna be fucking awful, I bet. Hey there, tiny child. Oh, sorry, I don't know that yet. Hey there, ghost. Ah, oh, she rendered in. Oh, I would be scared, too. Someone just rendered in all of a sudden like that? It's the horrifying ghost zombie. That's actually... What's a weird thing to think about? Because Inazuma talked a lot about, um, like, visions and stuff like that. Yeah, no, she's a, she's a child. Wait, how do we assume that she's a zombie from here? Just because of a talisman? Oh, well. But yeah, no, like, 
with uh with Inazuma, they're talking a lot about visions and like they're, how they're taken away and what happens to people when they die to like what happens to their visions. And Shichi is like a weird one with that in mind because it's like she's a zombie that's brought back to life, but she still has a vision. What's her? An that's the other thing too. Visions are like people's aspirations, their ambitions, things like that. So it's like. What, I'm actually really curious what would happen to uh, Chi Chi if like her vision was lost or like why it even functions at this point. That should be like a little Kazuha quest line with with her where he's like, "What the fuck are you?" Which is actually true because like they don't have any quests for Chi Chi. I don't think. I am Chi Chi. Hello, you talk like a robot. Unless of course the quest with Chi Chi is about the Coco Go, but I think that's this one. Yeah. Chi Chi was saved yeah. by the oh. Die. Now. <laughs> Chi-Chi is a zombie. Oh, what a bombshell. Something uh. like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. What? I guess so, yeah. Because, you know, I actually never thought about it until recently, where it's like... Hello. And I like how even Zhang Li's fucking freaked out. Uh, in Liyue, like, like, the Adepti are, like, the big nature spirits, but I actually never thought about how in Mondstadt, like... Me, sir. The mon Did not the monsters, but, like, the spirits there would be, like, Boreas, uh, Dvalin... The other two that I guess are dead. I don't know. Surely no hmm. prescription is needed to purchase everlasting insects. No, you can get high it's off of it now. Substance. We've discovered this. Fucking Chi -Chi teenagers, you know. But oh. only if you show Chi Chi your Damn it, Chi Chi, you're a terrible receptionist. These are Chi Chi's orders hmm. from Chi Chi. Why is she be from Chi Chi? I'm afraid you make your own orders? Right. It's to do with her orders. Oh, yeah, because zombies take zombies orders. Are limited to acting you don't talk about zombies like they're normal. We never see another zombie. The zombie issues her own orders to That's herself. That's very surprising. We, Chi -Chi. we didn't bring I a did, Chi -Chi. But we do hope that you can still help us mm. find some everlasting incense. I swear, this is where we okay, do the whole Coca <laughs> quest line. Thanks, Chi Chi. So easy. That? She's a child. It's the same way I manage you. Chi Chi helps you. Mm. You help Chi Chi. God, her voice is so fun. Oh, which is okay. weird because it's so fucking... It's like the exact opposite of what voice acting is. Oh, fuck, man. I wish that's how TJ Maxx had worked. Where it's just like, yeah, you know what? I'll fucking help you out by scanning your items if you help me out. But stop being a major bitch. <laughs> uh-huh. Thanks, God of Commerce. Sometimes in Liyue, mm -hmm. the art of the deal... Is simply about victory huh. via mental gymnastics. That's a very complicated way to shop. The fucking story of that is that we're going to be shooting at Ganyu, I believe. I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. The Guizhong Ballista, at least, I have heard of before. Yeah, it doesn't do shit. It's a kind shit. of crossbow turret. Installed on Mount Chinhung by an I like how some adept has just made a fucking automated crossbow turret. In Chinhung Pass, fucking it was designed mm, to crazy. Fire at large monsters, protecting in all honesty, it was threats. designed for fun, so that that adept was not exactly the most sane individual. That's actually right, Gu Guizhong was like his, I think, girlfriend. I don't know, I don't know that lore. This is the first I have ever heard of the hmm. Coco Goat. Oh, the mess the, the magical is goat. A legendary animal. Hmm. An adept beast. That I that sounds like Voltron. Do you wanna add anything else or... No. No. <laughs> Just that the Coco Goat oh. is a legendary animal. You already said that, Chi Chi. An adept beast. An adept beast. What it looks like. Hey. Don't know. Oh. Where to find it? Don't oh, know Chi -Chi. either. Where it came from? Very also fun character. Don't know. We don't know shit. Very well then. Let's start hmm. by investigating near the Guizhong okay. Ballista. Forget that we have to go to the Guizhong Ballista for another thing later on too. I it makes me realize that I'm a lot further behind than I thought I was. How long did it take me to beat fucking Monstead? It was only like ten episodes. What this is I don't know what episode this is actually. Oh shit, I never collected the Guizhong Ballista teleport. I guess that's part of what I'll be doing here. But yeah, it'd just be like a fun little walk, a little hike up into the mountains. It'll be nice. But yeah, no, I um, I don't know. Like, I feel like the fucking quest lines are just getting fucking exponentially longer. Although, I don't know. I think it's just because Monster like, you know, it is the prologue chapter. I keep forgetting that. And I keep thinking it's chapter one, but it's technically chapter uh, zero. 
So I guess that's fair that it's a little shorter than the rest of the quest would be. Little feels like it takes forever. Inazuma, I can't judge yet because I've or I've I've finished what's out so far. I was actually surprised. I didn't realize that. Um, I thought it ended earlier than it did, but then you have to do two character quests with uh, Yoimiya and Ay Ayaka, and I was just like, oh shit. Main quest right here now. He got to fight Ball. That was fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. And they did the thing that I thought they would do, where um, she has an ability to turn off your elemental skills. And I was like, ah ha I feel smart now. I mean, I, I guess I don't really have any right to feel too smart about it, because, like, you know, the whole premise of Inazuma's the vision hunt, and I guess it would make sense to shut down people's visions. Although they never really imply that, um... There's, like, a way they have to turn off the vision, so I guess it could still be, like, aha, I ate, uh, <laughs> Kaya, be careful. I guess it could be, uh, I don't know, wait, a maintenance notice, let's see, hold on. Uh, the Guajang Ballistas is it, yeah! <laughs> in an intricate machine of divine conception, it could only come to fruition by the hands of a mortal craftsman through a tremendous degree of toil. Likewise, only through painstaking maintenance can be a truly mighty weapon. After centuries of peace in the land, should that ancient evil rear its ugly head, plunge forward into war once more, the spare parts shall be needed, and a craftsman of suitable caliber and character must be summoned to collect them. Oh my god. Okay, the beams, bows, limbs we've stacked in the storage room, but robust treated with lacquer. I don't need to know about how it's treated. Uh, triggers, all that shit will be found in a dedicated container. So everything is just here. Oh my god. Okay, it's important. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a lot of text. Of course it would be in Leoe, where the fucking, uh, like, Adepti are too busy fucking talking all the goddamn time. They're still talking even right now. And also, once you actually... This is Vigwajan Ballista. This is it. It's not actually that impressive now that we're here. But yeah, let's take a look at it. We could be shooting at Hillichurls with this shit right now. What a it's shame. Huge. It sure is. Can totally believe it is I guess? Bed. It's not even... I guess for a crossbow it's huge, but, but I think it could be cooler. It's automatic. You don't need to do shit. It is mm -hmm. currently inoperable in any Yes, case. I, I can tell. This device is broken. Yeah, because, you know, there have been any kaiju to shoot recently, which is a shame. I wish we could After fucking use it. Wear and tear, even adepti yeah. Are difficult to maintain. Especially adepti contraptions, because they're even more complicated than they need to be. High society does not deal with crossbows, Paimon, you freak. You almost make it sound like I'm some sort of <laughs> bourgeois parasite yes. whose only utility lies in providing coin pieces of trivia on demand. Oh, I love you, Zhang Li. She's That's not sad. wrong. <laughs> Let me think for a moment. Wait, are we... We don't really need to ah, build yes. this. Spare At least, parts were like, not right now. I know we do it later. Fuck, I thought this whole, like, that. repairing the Guizhong Ballista was part of, uh, As like, the quest to get into Ningguang's place. Okay, I guess not. Unless... No, this isn't... No, yeah, because the end of the first Liyue arc was, um... From where they are stored, after everyone got dinner, Ganyu appears, like, hey, come up here. Why do I... Why did I think the Guizhong Ballista was the during the Ningguang questline? Like, I know you have to go out there. No, yeah, because you use the Guizhong Ballista as, like, a uh, telescope to look at the Jade Palace. I have a Maybe we don't of actually fix it right now. Maybe we're just talking about with it. The parts in hand. I could at least oh, with it. no, I guess we are tinkering with it. Okay, well, I already read the fucking notice, coincidentally. Just gotta figure out how to get in here. Can I literally just go through the window? Oh, yeah. Shut up, Paimon. I already know. Oh, I thought it was be in the treasure chest. Hold on, let's break these. Get some common chests, get my fun little weapons and shit. Yeah, some little fucking upgrades. Oh, actually, there's a lot of chests in here. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting on his treasure. I wonder if Zhang Li would be mad about me looting tre uh, the treasure from this ancient structure. Oh, you can actually hit the gates. Weird. But yeah, I wonder if he would be upset. It's like, that's a historical artifact. And I'm just like, I'm selling it. Oh, shit, that reminds me. Because the episode I had uploaded literally just today, I had talked about how, like, oh, my Deluxe sword upgraded. Uh, my my Beto sword is upgraded now, too. Oh, look at that. It's so cool looking. I think it's upgraded. I, it looks different. It looks different from how I remember it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and then Zhongli, we got your, your pots here, right? Was... Okay. I was scared for a moment. Huh. Nothing was happening. These parts look useful. That's not nearly useful. <laughs> they just look useful. They're not actually functional whatsoever. Alright, let's fade what to black. 
Yeah. Oh, the damn. Jung that was fast. Is more intricately designed than I thought. Yeah, because your your girlfriend made it, right? Ooh. That's how that works, right? Now, how I don't do we know. Turn it on? We don't, Paimon. That's irresponsible. It's easy enough. Oh. We simply need to do this. Ah. Ah. Look, if only I could shoot with scope. it. <laughs> to Zhang Li, I don't trust over you with this. Uh huh. Nothing. Yeah. And over there. More, yeah. More nothing. That's right, Paimon. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Freckle Huang? Huang? I don't know how to pronounce things. So Hello. You fixed up this turret. Uh, because you're planning to do what? Exactly? We're gonna shoot you. You really want to start a fight with us when we have an automated turret in our hands? Fuck you. Get out of here. This is our place. Ballista. Oh, a Guizhong Ballista. Also, that would be, that could have been the unique Leo thing, it's where they could have had, match. like, Guizhong Ballistas in different places, and you could use them for, like, fucking puzzles or just shooting enemies. That would have been fun. Fuck, they have Are cannons in fucking Inazuma. At least I think they're the cannons. Border. I don't know. I haven't oh, been able to man. use them yet. He, you're calling John Lee old? He's he is, but look at that face. For however old he is, he looks great. You can't get anywhere near them with this uh -huh. thing keeping watch. <laughs> oh. You might look like any other mechanical device, oh, you broke it. Me, oh, okay. So we gotta like kill you now, Last right? Time we approach the mountain. <laughs> that would be fine. I'm surprised it was working this long. So it wasn't a thing of... Uh, so it wasn't a thing of fucking um, wear and tear over two millennia. Yeah. <laughs> you are talking to the people that can skewer you right now. Tut tut. Who says tut tut? Uh huh. Disgraceful behavior. I agree. This would be a great moment to play as Zhang Li. But I wonder you. if it is. I don't think it is. I mean, there's some quest lines where they let you fucking play as your characters. Yep, no, no Zhongli. All right, you guys, let's just uh, get this all. Oh god, my characters are weak. Ah, oh, fucking wall. Hold on. No. Oh my god. D. Luke, I think, actually has the worst ulti when it comes to auto targeting, which is really fucking frustrating. Because like you, you will target like one opponent. And you're just like fucking stupid about it. It will. I don't know. I want more control of it, which I don't think is fucking possible. But I can still complain about it. Um, oh, what is it? Get out of here, you! And then we'll just do a little bit of freeze doos. There we go. And oh god, how many of these people? It doesn't give me a number. That's a bad sign. I could be killing treasure. Oh, dude, come on, D. Luke, you fucking. Uh, I. It's really a thing of you have to like set yourself up perfectly beforehand. Otherwise, you're just not gonna have a good time. Ah, uh, yeah, let's weave a verse. <laughs> fucking, I wish Xing Zhu actually probably would be the fucking, like, the master freestylist of this time period. Like, you challenge him to a rap battle, he has shit to say. Like, fucking, Xing Zhu's, he, he's been reading the books all this time, but his passion is fucking free, uh, freestyling. Then beatboxing, I like that. God damn, there's a lot of you fuckers. Okay, hold on. Come on, hit me. Yeah, there we go. The big bang. Oh, I just did it by instinct. I mean, yeah, that was my fault this time. Oh no, they're falling all the way. I wish there was fall damage for them like that. They should, they deserve death after falling that height. But no, they're gonna respawn with all their HP just like, oh, we're fine. Yeah, this is normal. Our fucking bosses do this shit all the It's because we're in a simulation. I swear, that's gonna be the big reveal with this game, I think. I don't know. Ever since Mona said the sky was fake, I was like, simulation? Hmm. Oh my god, they're still alive down there, aren't they? Oh my god, okay, where are you- Oh my god, it says I, like, leave the quest area. I was actually only one guy. That's a surprise. Alright, let's finish the job. Alright, hey buddy, just get a wet. I'm just gonna bully you at this point, because you deserve it. Okay, is there anybody else left? I don't What's think so. I guess we did it. Actually, no, I bet fucking wave three just spawned up there. Oh my god. Yep. Fucking lots of waves of enemies. Hell fucking fun. I'm, I don't even know why I'm complaining about it. Like, the f combat is like the one ver like quest that this game has that I enjoy because everything else is like a fetch quest. This game really needs to get more variety with its uh, with its quest lines. Uh, oh, hey, guy. <laughs> Just you, huh? Okay, well, let's finish you off. I guess he had fallen too far and had to respawn. Oh, well. It's a shame for him because now he's going to die painfully. Hey, buddy, we're just gonna start bullying you. There we go. There we go. Yeah, look at this bullying. Oh, I'm just gonna hit him with the fucking water swords. Xing Shu's is like... 
That's the ability I would want in real life for flavor. Just have these floating water swords. It's fucking legit. I love it. Probably not the most br Oh my god, there's more? Holy shit. I did not realize there's so many treasure hoarders out here trying to fucking get the Guizhong Ballista to stay broke here. This time I want this to go this way because I don't want people to fall off the big cliff anymore. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, come on, you little bastards. Come on. Ugh. You know, maybe I just need to make my, my combat experience more interesting. I need to be dodging around more, which I've currently stopped doing already. No, that's fine. Here we go. Did someone actually already fall down? Or are they just... No, no. I, I don't know. I think maybe these arrows are just the ones right here. Uh, I'm worried. I'm kind of thinking that someone probably fell somewhere I don't want them to be. Alright, here. Oh, no, there she is. Or she is. Sorry. For some reason, I was thinking of Ball right now. <laughs> like, no joke. I was just in my head thinking about Ball because, you know, it's hard not to think about her. She's so great. Ah, Vision Hunt degree is wonderful. Making people just fucking act like uh, they have dementia because you seize their dreams and aspirations. What could be hotter? Mm. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I am a ball simp. Even though she's a fucking terrible, horrendous person. Oh, that was it? That was finally it? I was just in the middle of talking about how much I love ball. Paimon, <laughs> don't look so smug, you little piece of shit. Over this rabble is not oh, worth the time. rabble. We should focus yeah. on our contract with Chi Chi. We go to her and we're like, we couldn't find the legendary Coco go, and she's just like, You have broken the contract. You must be punished oh, yeah. by death. Mm -hmm. So we've got the Guizhong Ballista working. <sighs> Paimon, we could probably just make up a Coco using the Guizhong Ballista. Although everyone says the Coco Goat is gone you. And then people the make fucking wildlife. fan art about it. But What's more, it, she's called the Coco Goat, but because it was Year of the Cow, people do the fucking, no um, the fucking cowgirl bikini. So, I don't know, not really goat-like. It was not a waste of time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was one that says waste of time. My bad. Yeah, we can shoot innocent bad people now. Like, they're bad, but they're not really the things that this fucking turret should be aiming. That's actually true. Why is this, like, ballista shooting at humans? Like, they're bad, but can the ballista tell that? And if that's the case, like... Like, what is the measure for, like, how bad someone has to be to be shot with the fucking Guizhong Ballista? I feel like there's a lot of things in question there. But you know what? On that note, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this episode. We'll have a little moral quandary to consider. So yeah, this has been a Gator Stamper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.